Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Matthew here, and in this video I'm going to be showing off some uh, test gameplay for my Nintendo 64 with the help of uh, my SNES, N64, and GameCube HDMI cable from Hyperkin, as well as the Elgato Game Capture HD60 uh, capture card that I got off of eBay recently. Uh, before I begin this video, I want to give a couple of shoutouts to two of my favorite YouTube gamers, AliRx and HC Bailey. so be sure to subscribe to their channels for um, gaming videos so that's gonna be it so I'm gonna stop with the introductions here and let's get on to uh, the gameplay the first game we're gonna be taking a look at here is uh, Pokemon Stadium which I think is uh, one of the first uh, Nintendo 64 games one of the first of them that I ever got back in the day years ago uh, the other being I think uh, Star Wars uh, Rogue Squadron which is uh, one of my all-time uh, favorite Star Wars games ever. Um, now keep in mind that um, what I did here uh, after I recorded the gameplay footage is um, edit the footage w with, um, you know, uh, iMovie. And what I did was like I adjusted um, the color saturation and uh, the brightness of um, the gameplay uh, in this video here, this little clip. Um, because... Um, Initially, um, when you uh, record the gameplay footage along with uh, the Hyperkin HDMI cable, uh, the brightness and uh, the color saturation with uh, the gameplay footage would seem a little bit off. So um, luckily, it's only a minor issue that can easily be fixed as long as you uh, have uh, the right settings for whatever video software that you use to um, adjust them with. And that's going to do it for the first gameplay clip here. Um, if you like what I've done to adjust the brightness and the color saturation in, in these clips for the video, let me know in the comments below and um, see if you have, also have any uh, tips on how I can further adjust it. So with that said, let's move on from this game on to the next one. The next game we got here is uh, WCW slash NWO Revenge. For, also for the Nintendo 64, made by um, the Aki Corporation and released by THQ. Um, now, also, um, while I'm mentioning AliRx, uh, he also made um, a five-part retrospective about all of uh, the Aki Pro Wrestling N64 games, along with like um, the non uh, N64 PlayStation One titles that were also um, made and uh, released by uh, Aki and THQ as well. And with that weird scene out of the way, it's on to the intro, and it is awesome, albeit uh, a bit long. Now, I don't know about any of uh, you uh, folks out there who grew up with uh, wrestling back uh, during um, the mid to late 90s and early 2000s, but back then, wrestling was pretty awesome, all thanks to uh, the Monday Night Wars between uh, WCW and um, WWE, who was known back then as... Um, WWF or World Wrestling Federation if you will I mean WCW was uh, on a roll in the ratings against the WWF for like uh, for about two and a half years or just two years to be exact but ever since the whole um, finger poke of doom uh, incident on January 4th 1999 while they were airing a live episode of Monday Nitro that year, it all started to go downhill for WCW from there. 
They kept making mistake after mistake after mistake until finally it was all over for them. Back then WCW rocked. Then along came the WWF that uh, rocked after um, the finger poke of doom incident and ever since then they've uh, they've stayed on top of WCW and uh, well you know what happened in WCW back then so I'm not gonna say much more about that from here That's it for uh, WCW NWO Revenge. Now let's move on to one of its rival games from the WWF. WWF No Mercy. So yeah, by this point in time, uh, the WWF was uh, staying way on top of uh, WCW in the ratings during the Monday Night Wars. And along with their uh, huge success in the ratings, there came along a couple of uh, video games that they released for the N64 by uh, Aki and uh, THQ and this is one of them after WWF uh, WrestleMania 2000 now this game by many wrestling fans and gamers alike is often considered to be one of the greatest wrestling games of all time as well as quite possibly one of the greatest video games ever made oh my gosh so close he kicked out he kicked out he kicked out <laughs> Now there's only one more game to check out, and we're going to do that right now. And that's this game right here, Doom 64 for, well, the Nintendo 64, because uh, Nintendo had a thing going on with calling almost uh, all of their games uh, on the system being released with a number 64 for some odd reason, but I'm not going to argue about that. Um, 
So for this video here, this clip here, um, now you have to understand both um, the PlayStation 1 port of the original Doom as well as this game, uh, Doom 64, are uh, pretty dark games in terms of like uh, having the brightness uh, going way down when you first start playing. So what I had to do here is uh, change, um, well increase the brightness in uh, this clip right here drastically. So um, let me know what you think of um, uh, the editing that I did here for the brightness for um, the gameplay here of uh, Doom 64 right here. And uh, let me know about um, the other things that uh, I've adjusted in these clips for the video here for uh, both uh, the brightness and the color saturation of um, all the gameplay clips included here. So that's I'm going to stop things here. Um, if you enjoyed this video up to this point, uh, please click the like button. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more future gaming videos. And also, um, one more time, I want to give uh, shout-outs to both um, Ali RX, especially with his um, Aki Pro Wrestling Games retrospective, and uh, also to uh, HC Bailey for his um, JRPG uh, action adventure videos on his channel. So make sure to subscribe to them both. And that's about it, so take care of yourselves, have a good day, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.